I'm here to talk about uh, Silometer. How many people here have heard about this project? A few. That's nice. So, at some point, um, let's say a year ago, came up with this crazy idea. Hey, we are doing a cloud, but what about billing? Did we forget something? There is nothing in OpenStack that allows people to collect usage data. And collecting usage data is something quite critical if you want to do billing, right? Um, billing, as seen by telcos, generally is a three-step process. First, you collect usage data. You call that metering. Second, you transform this usage data into dollar amounts. You call that rating. And third, you create a bill and you collect the funds from it. Okay. I tried to convince at the last uh, ODS summit, um, ODS actually, it's a repetition, ODS summit, that we should concentrate on providing inside of OpenStack what is needed to do the first part, and only the first part, metering. <coughs> why, why that? Because covering all the use cases for rating is going to be a nightmare if we want to do it well. This is so um, cloud specific, the way you will want to do your billing, that you'd rather concentrate on providing all the statistics needed for it to happen and let the cloud do the rating there. So Silometer was uh, born out of a session that I proposed at ODS. And we started six months ago with a bunch of problems to solve. So uh, we needed to collect uh, data from a bunch of different components uh, in a single place. Uh, if you're interested, uh, the volume of data that a cloud can generate can be huge. And I have a little uh, calculator available on the project. Uh, ping me if you want to know where that calculator is. Um, we want to allow people to retrieve all the usage data from a single place. So basically, we want a single endpoint. Uh, that a rating engine or anything else can connect to. And uh, we want to do it with an open source project. S another problem we had to solve that I didn't write here is that a lot of people, when they hear about metering, they make a big confusion in their head. They think it's monitoring. Nothing in common. Well, yes, we are collecting statistics. But in one case, we are collecting statistics in order to do bills, in the other case, in order to know if the stuff works. The granularity of your collection when you do monitoring is generally from 10 seconds to a minute. When you're doing billing, it's from 10 minutes to an hour. Um, when you're doing billing, you don't want to uh, have false messages or missed messages. When you're doing monitoring, if you miss a message now and then, who cares? So that was one of the problems we had to fight at the beginning, make people understand that it was a separate project from the monitoring project. So we started Silometers uh, in May 2012. Um, so far, we've had contribution from uh, the companies listed here, Innovance, Canonical, DreamHost, AT&T, Dell. Um, I must say that so far, most of the work has been done by Innovance and, uh, and Dreamhost. Dreamhost has, uh, and Innovance have deadlines of delivering a cloud, so that pushes them quite hard on um, delivering uh, the feature to build their cloud. That's uh, a nice way to go, I think. Uh, it's been developed from the beginning using uh, OpenStack processes from uh, top to bottom. So everything we've done is done in StackForge. Um, we are targeting for this project to reach core eventually. We've submitted it uh, for uh, incubation. We hope it's going to be incubated for the Grizzly project. I guess we'll know about that in two weeks. Um, at the moment, well, I'll cover that in a minute. In terms of design, uh, we wanted it to be scalable and as scalable as the database backend. Um, that we, we are going to enable with that. 
we wanted for uh, lots of security to be available and so that messages could not be repudiated so we built that into the design um, we wanted the design to be extensible we know that uh, other projects will be entering OpenStack in the future and it was important that it would be as easy as possible for people to add uh, what we call bolster or agents and one thing also very important we don't like rewriting code that already exists so I would say that 90% of the code of Sealometer is based on OpenStack common so this is the design we ended up with so the data store the collector and an API. This is basically telemetry. And then we've got the central agent that calls for information to different components. And we've got an event listener that listens to notification that are already being sent to uh, uh, the OpenStack bus. In fact, as we've been moving forward in the past six months into the project, we've been able to convince more and more of the other OpenStack projects that they should start sending notification rather than us having to install some kind of agent to go pull information. And this is pretty nice. And actually, this is working pretty well. Um, integration with uh, Cinder was completed last week. Integration with Quantum is being worked on. Um, this is working quite well. What we won't have in this first release is Glance and Swift. So how do you use it? At the moment, when you're a billing or rating system or anything else that needs to access the information, you access the API. The API has only one way to be accessed, is through an admin endpoint. There is no access for the end user. This is on the roadmap for a V2. Right now, it's only from the admin point of view that you can access all the information. It is uh, integrated with Keystone, so authentication is done uh, with Keystone. And in the future, we hope to have a, a little demo plugin that shows how you can uh, uh, retrieve this uh, information uh, about usage and display it into Horizon. What I would love to see is, for example, a, a plugin in Horizon that uh, show a given user how many trees he's been killing running instances or stuff like that, you know, carbon collect, contra, uh, transform, doing a very simple transformation of uh, rule of thumb between number of instances launched and, and duration of these instances and uh, number of uh, baby carbons being killed. <laughs> so the roadmap, I already talked about a little bit about that. Uh, version 1, we're trying to get as many uh, agents uh, written uh, for as many uh, OpenStack projects. Uh, it provides basic API access. Um, we are going to be delivering it a little bit after uh, Folsom. We are not integrated uh, as part of the release, so it's not released today. It should be released in two weeks from now. Um, the version 2, uh, where we, which will be incubated, will have to be released as part of the project. Incubation forces you to do that. And uh, the API, I hope, will support direct uh, end-user access. It will have the uh, integration with Horizon. Very limited. Again, we don't do billing in Silometer. We only report on usage. Um, and it will support the, the missing uh, uh, OpenStack uh, component. Um, there is discussions about uh, integrating additional functionalities. Um, the HEAT project, which is also seeking um, uh, incubation in OpenStack, uh, has been in touch with us to uh, tr uh, take care of some uh, CloudWatch type uh, activities. And um, again, we are not a monitoring project, but since we already wrote all the pollster 
uh, to gather information, we could reuse the collection system without reusing the back end uh, and therefore uh, diverge a bit on this thing. Maybe it will be uh, uh, something like uh, an add-on to Celometer. We don't know. That's going to be discussed uh, in two weeks at the OpenStack Summit. So, uh, that was a quick intro. I had 10 minutes. I don't know how much I took. Um, Pretty much spot on. <laughs> uh, but if you want to know more, I'm here. I can answer a question. There are a few links over here. There is an RC channel that is quite active um, from noon UK until midnight UK. Uh, that's when most of the uh, project contributors are up and uh, producing uh, code, hopefully. Uh, or if not, uh, RSC messages. Thank you very much. Any questions? Um, hi, uh, yeah, I'm Steve Hardy. I'm actually one of the developers working on CloudWatch for the API. Great. And um, the question I have, which I've been wondering for a little while, is why um, focus on a particular classification of a metric collection rather than having a generic metric collection mechanism which could scale between monitoring and metering. You seem to have this distinction between the two, but they're effectively um, two categories of the same problem. The only difference is the amount of data you produce and the periodicity of the messages. And the security you need for the messages. For example, if I was designing a uh, monitoring project, I wouldn't mind transmitting my messages over UDP, which is uh, a project which allows well, losing. Well, I wouldn't care you. about signing uh, the monitoring uh, data. It depends on what you need to use that data for. For instance, if you're going to use that to modify your running configuration, for instance, in response to uh, for HA type activities, you need to be quite certain that the data that you're receiving is correct before acting on it. And um, so, it, so uh, I, uh, it can also I, be useful if you're trying to collect that monitoring data for the purposes of doing intrusion detection. The kind of security aspects could come into play there. Uh, again, that, uh, I, we had a set of requirements that we wanted to solve as quickly as possible because billing had been completely forgotten in OpenStack and we wanted to focus on this use case but we are fully open to bring this project to another state and this is why we have a joint session with the HIT project during the OpenStack Summit <coughs> to discuss the evolution. Um, as, I, as I said, maybe the idea is to reuse the, poll, the polling mechanism uh, that we've already written, but not, uh, but have a separate backend. Uh, maybe it's something else. We are very open about that. We'll have time to discuss it, and I'm sure we'll come up with a great solution together. Great. Well, there are no more questions, and if there are, I suggest you do them over a beer and pizza because that <laughs> is now all being served. Uh, thank you very much.